East matchup. It's the New York Mets taking on the Miami Marlins. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now on the hill here today, Trevor Rogers. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy's a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. Little chopper rolls foul. And he'll one. Here's a high chopper. And he grabs it foul. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. High fly ball down the left field line. Gordon going back. And forget it. He wastes no time on this one. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. You can't ask for a better start than hitting a home run in your first at bat to give your team the lead. Oh, you got to love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count and trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. And that one is lifted in the air. Sanchez ranging after it. Puts it away for the out. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. A really frustrating showing for them in their last game. Lots of traffic on the bases, but they left a ton of runners on base. Couldn't cash in their chances, Chris. They had plenty of chances. There's nobody to blame it on but themselves offensively. They just did a poor job converting in those situations. You have to figure out what's your plan going to be. Maybe watch some tape from the last game. Make the adjustment. So if you get those opportunities in this one, you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs. One down, base is empty. And the slider just misses. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely That's looking to do some more damage. The lefty fires. That four, just four. missed. Hey, he walked him on four pitches. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Martinez. Here is J.D. Martinez. Big time power. And a foul ball. Lindor at first, one gone. Way one upstairs. Ball, and now it's even one and one. Rudder takes off. Pitch is low. Oh, and they got it. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense, try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. That one misses, and that's ball three. Two out, space is empty. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey. 
swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Chisholm right there to make the grab. And that is that. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here with my pal Singy. And on the hill here today, Jose Quintana. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Big swing and a miss. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. That one, one not close. Yeah, the count one and two. Left hand batter waits. That misses the zone, and it's two and two. Inside just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. A wide to kick the pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. 3 2 down. And foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Left-hand hitter waits. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. And a payoff pitch. a base hit. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat and found a way to win the battle. That, is, that, that was the 11th pitch he saw. Pretty remarkable when you could stay locked in for that long of time and still come away with a knock. And now here's the Marlins DH, Brian De La Cruz. And that's down it away. Count one and oh. Rudder at first with no outs here. That's inside. Two balls, no strikes. On the ground. And that's just foul. To second, and he's out. <laughs> so much for their first hit right there. Good move, and he had him leaning all the way. And a pitch. Strike two. Two balls, two strikes. One out, base is empty. That's to third. Toss to Alonzo, and that's an out. And out. time now for the Marlins lineup. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slog and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Two outs, base is empty. Josh Bell, the next up for the Marlins. Splits the plate, and that's strike one.
two outs. That one. misses, and the count is one and one. The one one is fouled off. Stays alive. And he deals. Way outside. <laughs> two and two. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. That's a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Jesus Sanchez stands in now and watches strike one. And that's a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. The pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So no runs. Two hits. No errors. And one man left. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. It's the Mets one and the Marlins nothing. Back here in Miami, top of ahead. the second. Now the left fielder, DJ Stewart. 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 It is third season, 30 years old now. A former first round pick back in 2015. Rogers, back to work. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Spoils a two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Ooh, missed a mistake right there. Kicks and deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. And now the lefty gets a piece and stays alive. That one misses. One and two to count. Good eye nope. right there. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch. That one ripped. number five on the season and they had a run it's two nothing he kept swinging and it paid off well that was a battle boo again he just kept taking his cuts finally squared one up no boo clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now i mean that ball was so close to going foul would have been a long strike but instead batter gets rewarded did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Ball, Starling right Marte up to hit. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. That's in for a strike. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Dave Lawrence behind the plate today. Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls, and as a result, he's appreciated by both sides. And ball another down. ball. What about an umpire's <laughs> height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? 
Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouse, and it's into the gap. Now he'll turn for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. The third base. third baseman Brett Beatty first oh, pitch misses man it's second fastball for a strike and a count one and one This one in the air right field. Sanchez has this one sized up. Makes the catch. Runner tags at second. And he's in safely at third with one out. And now here's Jeff McNeil. See, he's got a history of coming yeah, yeah. through in the big spots. McNeil. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. To the right side, Bell. There for the oh. out. Runner scores from third. So important to really lock in on an at-bat like this. It seems easy with the infield back, but you've got to make sure you put the ball in play. Put it on the ground, brought that run in. Omar Narvaez at the plate. Hey. The wind of the pitch. Next Ball offering one. misses down and away. Out to short. Ruhan in the hole, jump throw, they get the out, and that will do it. Pure athleticism on that one. In the air, legs split a bit, and fires across the diamond. He's going to get a lot of high fives in the dugout. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's a big power threat. Jake Berger. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Yeah, ball there's one. a ball. And that's outside. Two and one. Just missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Kicks and fires. Hit hard, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Nick Gordon digs in now. And a swing and a miss. All one's the count.
top of the zone for a called strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. Pitch misses there, and a count one and two. The fish trailing by three, bottom half of inning number two. Out towards right center field, Marte going after it. And he makes the catch. The second base. So digging in, Otto Lopez. Good power, not great in the OBP department. And that drops in for a strike. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. No ball. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. And now it's Vidal Bruhan. That one misses. And that's ball one. The shortstop takes a ball. Berger, the runner at first with two gone. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. Two outs. Down the line. And that's a foul ball. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. One left for Miami. They trail in this one. Three nothing. Back here at Lone Leading Depot Park, head. top half of the, the third, third inning. Here's the Mets' leadoff Tyrone. man, Tyrone Taylor. Taylor. Rogers back to work. And oh, a good wow. eye there. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle That's in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length Two in this ball. one. No strike. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Benny really sells the changeup with that arm action. And a pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of changeups, probably won't see another one here. Warning track. Oh, and you can touch them all, baseball man. A massive home run. His second home run of the game, it's 4-0. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Pete Alonso, he's 0 for 1. First oh. pitch doesn't find the zone. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The 1 0. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. He was all over that the one. Bat, really bat. nice job the staying up the middle bat. with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. 
Francisco Lindor to the plate now. Fans love him, but he's pretty popular with the players, too. He certainly is, Boog. A player survey on him. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. It bangs off the wall. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Textbook back control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. J.D. Martinez stands in. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. A little out front there as he swings through it. 0 and 1. pitch fouled off he was late though Chris through the early stages he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count he's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game gets a piece and it stays 0-2 pulls the string with the change up struck him out He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Now it's DJ Stewart. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh, one's the count. Alonso, the runner at third. Lindor over at second with one down. Ball That's one there. He's been trying to tease the zone with one that one. slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Two on, one out. Good eye in that spot. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Got him to chase one above the zone there. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. to the right side and it goes just foul right. here's Starling Marte doubled his first time up Pulls that one foul. Second and third, two down. And the ball one. Skips into there. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Two on, two outs. And that one lifted in the air center field. Chisholm sizes this one up and puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. The Mets add one to their lead on this solo shot. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. Back after this on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate for Miami, Nick Fortes. And here it comes. Just missed. Ball one, no strike. Ball 
And Do another ball. The pitch. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Two balls, two strikes. Line drive, balls it in, and there's one away. That swing right there tells me he's seen the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. On the ground, right side. Alonso takes it to the bag, and two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. The designated, the designated hitter, hitter. Brian. Brian. Now here's the Marlins DH, Brian De La Cruz. First time up, he grounded to third. Just missed. The Mets leading by four here in the last half of the third. And that's oh, outside. That. And it's 2-0. and oh. Ripped on a line to center. Taylor calls it in to end the inning. And 1-2-3 go the Marlins. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. And we're back. Here's the third baseman, Brett Beatty. Brett Beatty. As the lefty gets to work, that's through there for a strike. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. The 0-1. Ball. Damn. Misses the zone and he gets him to chase. One ball. Man, Two that strikes. was pretty gross right there. That one down the line and foul ball. Three. That one 95 to finish him off. Jeff McNeil stands in. Grounded out his first time up. He's yeah, kind yeah. of an outlier, especially McNeil. when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. That catches the top part of the zone, and it's 0-1. Yeah, his swing is so good, it's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Lifted in the air down the left side, that and that drops foul. foul. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely. If he's doing damage now, if he's rolling over and, and grounding out, then it's a different story. But yeah, if he can put the ball in the gaps or over the fence, 100%. Narvaez in the box now. No balls and a strike. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Next Whoa, offering right is there. downstairs. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Just yep, misses with that one. Three, and another two. ball. And that's ball, ball. four. 
One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Taylor in the box again, takes the strike. Narvaez off the of first with two away. Pitch misses, one and one. Wouldn't nope, chase that inside, time. Next three. offering misses, three and one. Way out front for strike two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Kicks and deals. In the air, out towards right center. Nice grab on the run. And that'll do it. Mets strand one, but they're in front 4-0. Ready to go, Lydia bottom Lydia. four. Lydia. And now the switch hitting the first, first baseman, base. Josh Bell. Yeah. Yeah. The pitch. That oh. one misses, ball Count one. one and oh. And oh. downstairs. 2-0. And there's a foul ball. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Next offering is down low. And now three and two. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. Why to kick the pitch? Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Gets to it on to first. Oh. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic pitch oh, right, sequencing right. there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. Sanchez in the box with one away as he takes ball one. The Marlins down by four. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Slapped foul. The one one is fouled off. And he hits a ground ball right side. On to first. He's out. Now two away. Up next to the Marlowe. The third, third baseman. baseman. Jake. Berger. And up next for Miami, Jake Berger. One for one with a single so far. And first offering is fouled off. Bounced out to short. Lindor on the run. Throw to first. And that is the inning. Miami down in order. They trail it here for nothing. We go to the top of the fifth. Stepping in the long ball threat. Pete Alonso. Alonso. And a pitch. 
Since debuting oh. in 2019, no player in the majors has hit more homers than Pete Alonso. Well, these Mets, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really nope. well. That's the ball. Just missed. With all those Three extra balls. base hits, no it's strike. easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. Well struck right field, and that gets down into the gap. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That'll be it for Trevor Rogers, and this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this. New pitcher for the Marlins, Anthony Maldonado. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Now up to hit, Francisco Lindor. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. And yeah, there's the strike. And yeah, the right hander deals. Popped in the air. Left field. Gordon settles under it. He's there. He's got it. One down. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base and slugging, too. Ruhan slings oh. the first, and Martinez is out. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there, just rolled over it, got the ground ball. And next for the Mets, D.J. Stewart. Now. He's already DJ homer here in this one. Stewart. Sanchez going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Mets leave one. They lead 4 nothing. We head to the bottom of the field. Here's the left fielder, Nick Gordon. As he turns on the rubber, you know, with that good live arm delivers. And yeah, that's outside. You know, these Marlins, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. The 2-1. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. 2-2. Two -two. Fights it off. He'll see another. Left-hand hitter waits. Still 2-2 two and two after the foul ball. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Out to short, Lindor. So they get the out after a long battle at the plate. Good sinker low in the zone right there yeah, and produced yeah. exactly what he was looking for. Oh, no, ball no, on the no. ground, nice ground out. Lopez. Otto Lopez, the next up for the Marlins. Caught looking his first time up.
And a foul ball. Lopez measures 5 feet 10 inches, 185 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. The fish down by four, last half of inning number five. That's oh, a little bit low. To the right side. He steps on the bag. Two up, two down. Up next to the Marlon. The shortstop, Vidal. Vidal Bruja will hit next. Struck out swinging his first time. Right side. Marte moves under it. Squeezes it. And that ends the inning. Here at Lone Depot Park. Park. Now it's the right the fielder, Marte. Starlin Marte. Marte. Maldonado back to work. And oh, the first pitch back. misses for ball one. That two seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away. And when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away. And that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. That, ball two. that misses the zone two and oh. And Reno. another ball. And he walked ball him. Four. Perfect. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Brett. So, man aboard. Beatty. Brett Beatty up now for the Mets. Swings through that one for strike one. Oh, and Nobody one. out. Runner at first. Up the middle. Nice stop. Over to second for one. But no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. Well, that ball off the bat. Ticketed for the outfield and a base hit for the hitter. But just taken away by the diving stop. Nice job. Now it's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. And that one is inside. Baden over at first with one away. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Nabs it. Omar Narvaez, the, the next to hit. Omar Narvaez. In there at the knees for a strike. Chopper to second. Lopez. Fires over to first. Out number three. No runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left on. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Mets four and the Marlins nothing. Back here in Miami, there we go bottom six. Here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. Fortes. And he deals. That clips the corner. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. The two one. 
pop foul out of play off to the right. And that's in the dirt. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that's just foul. And now the lefty. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and fires. Goes down looking. I guarantee he's going to check the tape on that last pitch when he gets a chance because he thought it was ball forward and he wasn't wrong. I mean, it was a close pitch. Definitely not an easy call. Especially after a long at bat. That'll drive you crazy getting rung up like that. Now, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Pitch well, misses outside. And that is ball one. One down, base is empty. Jack hey. Swing went around. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. The pitch. Three. Got him. And there are two outs. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. Rips that one to right. Marte makes the catch, and that'll do it. And the Marlins down quietly. They're down 4 nothing. Here's the center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Ryan Weathers, the left-hander, up and throwing. Bender getting cranked up as well. Next pitch is outside. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Just missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And now the count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on-deck circle. Lifted in the air right center field. Sanchez ranging after it. He's got it. And there's one down. Up next to the Mets. And now the first, the first baseman, baseman, Pete Alonso. Outfield playing oh, wow. very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And he pumps it a strike. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. And no, that's off inside. the inside edge. And now it's even one and one. Hey. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. One Clearly Two was strikes. sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two gone now. The batter. Here's Francisco Lindor. Francisco Lindor. Hey. Fastball in for a strike, going one. Boy, and that boy. one is inside ball one. 
Right handed reliever. Hot shot to first base and he snags it to end the inning. Down in order go the Mets. But they lead it four to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Josh Bell. The Marlins in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That one to first, Go and it goes out. just foul. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And the pitch. That one misses. Going to count 1 and 2. Bounce to third. Now he launches a throw over his head. No problem fielding that one, and the transfer looked no good. Way. Man, no he way. sailed it across the diamond and out of play. It looked like he just tried to put too much behind it. Cost him an extra base, too. And now for the Marlins, Jesus Sanchez. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Bell leads off second with nobody out. Next oh, pitch is downstairs. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Man at second. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Now bad. And at the play for Miami, Jake Berger, one for two. That one off the mark, and that's ball one. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That was blasted to the moon, and they cut into the lead. It's 4-2. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. And here comes the Mets manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Jose Quintana won't go any further. Two-run ball game as he heads for the dugout and will be back with a new pitcher. Sean Manaya gets the ball now. He's pitching on two days rest. Manaya. Nick Gordon, the next up for the Marlins. Tied him up inside with that one. All ones the count.
Next Ball offering right. upstairs. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Adam Adovino, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Garrett getting loose as well. Left-hand batter waits. And it is two and one. Swings through that one out in front that time. Two balls, two strikes. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, really expanded the zone right there with that fastball off the outside corner of the play. Got him to chase it. That's a tough one to lay off of because it starts close to you and just continues to run away from you in that batter's box. So it's a really nice pitch with two strikes. Lopez stands in now and watches strike one. And Alio won. He swings and fouls one off. The wind of the pitch. Just misses the mark outside the zone. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now 4-2. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Anthony Bender. Well, he's a big-time strikeout guy out there. This season, averaging more than one per inning. J.D. Martinez stands in. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Martinez. The pitch. Bender in his third season he features a sinker a slider a changeup and he works in a four seamer next Ball pitch is outside he's clearly trying to work him away here both pitches off the plate if you really want to put the ball in play you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field right hander kicks deals inside almost got him straighten him up a little bit The pitch. Chopper right side. Bell. The flip to the pitcher covering. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. The left fielder, number 29, DJ Stewart. Now the left fielder, DJ Stewart. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. A triple digits. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Ryan Weathers, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Off the mark there. Now one and two. That one missed. That's okay. off the mark, and that's ball three. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And down on strikes. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. So up next for New York, Starling Marte. And a good eye there. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Next offering is in for a strike. 
And here it comes. And it's fouled away. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So they make short work of them there. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets four and the Marlins two. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Adam Ottavino. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And a pitch. Foul ball there. Kicks and deals. That one fouled off. And the righty deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. Up the middle, Lindor. Gathers and throws to first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is that out in the eighth. Nick Fortes. Nick Fortes now at the plate. And there's a foul ball. The old one. And ball. there's a ball. I got a ball, one strike. to the plate got him swinging had him way out front of the slur well we saw a solid effort out of their starter and the now man is following soon it's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances jazz chisholm jr the next up for the marlins one for three swing and a high fly ball to left Going back on this one. Brings it in. That is the inning. We're now back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Ryan Weathers. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And stepping in for New York, Brett Beatty. The third baseman. Brett Beatty. And a pitch. Just off the outside edge, and that's ball one. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Just oh, missed. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. And he fires in a fastball at 95. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. Chopped left side. Bruhan sends it across He's the out. first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Now back the second base. Jeff. Jeff. McNeil and next for the Mets Jeff McNeil Chris baseball today so many strikeouts and they are available to pitchers but this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in day out Gordon snags it on the run 
The captain, number two. Omar two outs, bases empty. Narvaez. Omar Narvaez up now for the Mets. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Miami's bullpen with some action. A.J. Puck preparing to come on if needed. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. Pitch misses. Now one and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. And another ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Nothing doing for the Mets. But they still lead this one four to two. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Edwin Diaz. And he's been fantastic this year. Really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff that's tough to square up. And here is Ryan De La Cruz. Outfield that playing very game. deep, not Good wanting guy. anything over their heads. The pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. Popped up. McNeil drifts towards it. Makes the grab one down. The first baseman, number nine, Josh. He's two outs yeah. away. Next to hit, Josh Bell. And first offering is fouled off. That's a slider for a strike. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low and fastball for some pitchers. Base is empty one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. This one popped up. McNeil calls it in, and there's two away. The right fielder, number 12, Jesus. So they're down to their final out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jesus Sanchez. And first offering is fouled off. Now this is just par for the course these days. Huge fastballs coming out of the bullpen. Next oh. offering is down low. Sharp grounder, that's through for base hit. These hitters today are so now great at handling the velocity. Base. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Then at first, Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. Slider misses outside. Two-run game, a two-away here in the bottom of the ninth. Hard ground ball base now. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. And his hot hitting three. continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. And up next for Miami, Nick Gordon. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, one's the count. Lift it to left, and this should do it. And there it is. 
Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. The final line.